Thanks so much, Keith. The Columbus Municipal School District is now under new leadership. In what some are calling a shocking move, the school board voted to terminate the contract of Dr. Philip Hickman effective immediately. Now, since this is a personnel matter, the school board would not go into detail about why they chose to terminate Hickman's contract. But one thing is for certain, this move ends a strained relationship between the board and Hickman. I didn't know. I'm this my first hearing it. First time hearing it, that he didn't get fired. Dolores Brooks has three grandchildren in the Columbus Municipal School District and says the school board's decision to terminate Dr. Philip Hickman's contract comes as an alarming surprise. It's rumors, but I ain't got nothing to do with the rumors. You know, as far as I know, he was doing good. It probably affected the kids as well, so as the teachers and the parents. It's going to affect all of us. Friday's vote ends a term marked by controversy. School board president Jason Spears says some details and events against Hickman has emerged over the past few weeks, which led to the board's decision. It's a personnel matter, and we can't really get into um, the exact findings. But you know, the board uh, just had to make the decision based off the facts that we were presented. During a meeting last month, the former superintendent lashed out at Spears, publicly accusing him of trying to undercut his authority and creating a hostile work environment. The board was currently looking into some financial payments made by Hickman to a California company whose purpose is to clean up and monitor online reputations and comments. Now in the past, Hickman was questioned about hiring family members and about some controversial personal relationships. However, despite the controversy, some disagree with the board's decision and think Hickman should remain as the district superintendent. I think everybody deserves a second chance. That's what it's all about. It could be me or the person that find him. He make a mistake. He wouldn't want to lose his job. People got families, man. Now, Hickman's contract was set to expire in June, and the school board already expressed they were not going to renew his contract. During today's meeting, the board appointed Deputy Superintendent Craig Shannon as the new interim school leader.